Hello and welcome back for our last game of the evening, which is going to be Titan versus Hellraisers on Overpass. Dan, how are you doing today? I'm asking you four hours Fine. into the broadcast. Fine. Great. Um, overpass between these teams is an interesting one because two standards for Hellraisers. I assume they still have two standards. E no. Okay, they've actually lost uh, Styco and they got Simple in instead. And we don't have time to talk about this match because we're into the pistol already, guys. So it's going to be... A push into Suez! Existence! Existence! He's killing angels. And Mo is killing. Well, he's actually not getting any kills done. It's, it's a complete disaster, complete <laughs> failure. Down goes the bomb as well. And everyone is dead, Dan. Absolutely everybody is dead for Hellraiser's side. So Titan start well on the, uh, on the T side there. Scream was the defuse man. And he will continue to be so on this round. So. We've got the uh, conservative buy coming out for Tyson there. MP9, MP7's UMP machine pistol being wielded by Smiths. So we're going to have Hellraiser trying to close the gap, going for a two-man push in the connect area. Sorry, make that three people. They're going to just look for these close engagements. But uh, look on the minimap at Tyson. They're playing the sights, which is how you do the anti-ecos here. And go with the players. But they are in trouble because there is an exit. Thoughts? There with the M4, I'm, I promise I'll stop saying his name like that, and he's gonna die. Kucha is in with a couple of kills there. The tech lines are proving quite difficult to deal with in this, this current situation for Titan. Screams in with the uh, the MP7. The bomb will go down. So great round, regardless of what happens from this point here for Hellraisers, but they are looking to close because they have a four versus one. And Scream, they are trying to barrel him down. But will Scream go down? Will they push him down the stairs, James? Will they break every bone in his body? I don't know. I wonder if anyone's ever had every... Oh, maybe we'll come, at, come to that in a second, Dan. We can have a discussion about this. A grand discussion. Actually, we can do it now because Scream is running for his life. So Angel's going to save an M4. And Simple's going to save a Deagle, which is significant because it's Simple. Or is he? I think he's too close to the site, Dan. I think he's going to die. We're about to find out. He's dead. So... Do you think anyone's ever had any, every bone in their body broken? I sincerely hope not. Because well, wait, wait, and survived or not? And, and well, that, yeah, not you know, obviously Pro survived. Okay. I, I what significance is it if they're dead that? Well, because it's very, I guess, of no, course, there's the, no the answer is yes, if they have died. But if they survived, I don't know that that is even possible for you to I have, just have that situation and not die somehow. I wouldn't want to be in a situation, Dan. I think you would die somehow. You would, something would perforate something else. It, you would just die. That's a good point. Perforations. Perforations, indeed like a straw through a carton of juice drink, Dan, because most of the time it doesn't contain deuce. Deuce, juice, hello. So, Titan and I now find themselves on the force by here. Only pistols save for the MP7 on the screen again. He will be the diffuse man looking to diffuse. True story, when I was in, actually, come back to that in a second. Oh, Kucha dinks through the smoke there, but he's only by a pistol, so he's got 65 HP. Finished off by existence, though, holding down the sights again. This is how the, uh, the Ecos and Force Buys go, just hold the sights to CT. They can be so effective. Two men down for the T side. But only two to find for them. Trades coming in, leaving Shocks versus two now. And he will be finished off. An expensive round for Hellraisers. When I was in Dallas airports, I saw a policeman getting into a bomb defusal suit next to the check-in for my flight back to London. Dan. What is a, why do you need a suit for that? In case the bomb goes off. <laughs> well, then you're... Pr I don't think any kind of suit it, it is going to help you. It depends you. on the nature of the bomb, Dan. <laughs> All right. But obviously, you know, it's not going to be a promising situation, regardless of the bomb, because it's a bomb. But they have suits. I wouldn't want to do it in, like, my shorts. So, look at this stack. This is a very interesting stack from Titan. 1D coming out from Scream, looking for a second one, but his teammates are getting their first Scream with another 1D. Through the tree. Great work has been done there, but there's a P90 to contend with. Shock's holding the angle. The bomb is down. And uh, there are players going down for both sides there. The taps won't finish off Angel. Left of 7 HP. So it's existence. Location unknown versus two. He's got the 5-7. No. Another headshot no. from existence. Looking for the tap onto Kucha, but Kucha will survive for his team. Another expensive round for Hellraisers, but they extend their lead regardless. That was a very lamp-like look like looking tree, James. Oh, it was a lamp, was it? Yeah, yeah oh. it was a lamp. But maybe it was a lamp... ...like... ...tree. Stop. 
where I'm you are. trying to help you. Dan, we let, have double... Let me help you. Stop. We have double AWP on T side of overpass. Now, I'm a person who says that maybe the T... Uh, well, it's Oscar and Moe, and we've got Simple in a team. What's this? What's going on? That's the most remarkable thing. I want to see how these AWPs will be used. Double AWP on the T side. Simple. This is great. Although, this is interesting, actually, because obviously... You know, people still not fully adjusting to the jump peaks here because they can be punished. And there is one that Edward does for Navi actually, although that's when uh, that's on the T side. Jumping on the corner looking towards toilets, which he does many rounds in a row, but I never see anyone uh, pre-aiming that location. Although obviously to do that, it is a risk in itself and it's a timing based thing, but Allow me to stop rambling, Dan. The T's are moving up. Not much going on here, apart from just position being claimed. Although if Titan have actually rotated four players towards the A side, Angel goes in. Doesn't get a fast entry. That is a shame. But they are committed to this A push with the time that's left. And nice entries! Hellraiser's in with two. And Scream and Smith the left with not much to work with. Scream again in this position. Last time he's in this position, we were talking about breaking boats. Let's leave that conversation alone. Kay. Difficult start for Titan on the CT side. Four to one is what we're looking at unless some kind of ninja defuse comes out. But that seems unlikely. Maybe, maybe they should just recruit Oscar. He's pretty good. I wonder what Oscar's French is like, Dan. Because, because how is all those simples playing with him right now. He's still under contract by flip side, so I don't know... Like what that really means. One of the flip side guys said that uh, he thought G2 Simple would have been a good pickup. But I, I disagree, Dan. I don't think Simple was a good pickup for any team. I'm just going to say that personally. I think he's too toxic. Mm. I, I, I wonder what he could do to mellow out. Though. From, from what I've seen from Oscar so far, I'd, I'd much rather Oscar on a team. But I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know anything about him, like how his team dynamic is, how mature he is, and, and that kind of stuff. I have no idea about that. But his skills are really good. If he's mature and you know easy to play with, then I would definitely prefer him. I don't think he can justify simple. So Titan on Eco once more. More Deeg kills coming out. And this is tricky actually for Hellraisers because they've got well they've lost two players now, and two of their three remaining players have orbs. Which against the r running Titan players with uh, pistols is going to be tricky. This is not a situation. This is m many times you see situations like we saw in a previous map where the double ops um, were countered by just be by just rushing A. But now we have an anti eco with double ops remaining and only the one AK. That AK is going to be very important. Kucha is leading the charge towards the A bomb site, but what can existence find here? Not a whole lot. Scream has an AK and it screams. So. Interesting, but the aim punch is going to be too much, and Hellraisers will indeed survive with double orbs. I'm surprised they've had them for this long, and they will continue with that. One thing about Simple and Hellraisers at the moment is, uh, for example, they were not able to qualify for Cluj with Simple, and in they were th all they had to do was beat Vexed Gaming, and and they should be on paper they should be able to do that, especially with Simple, but they weren't able to. And they, the the fact, reason why they got in that position as well was because of some dysfunction that seemed to be caused by Simple as well, when they lost their first match as well. So, yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm not a, I'm not I'm not convinced. I'm sure some people some people have, can make an argument, but I, I can't see a good one yet. Okay, so the T side are in control of the short B area. Tyson looking for a late emergence, but this is surely suicide. No, it's not because Smith is going to cover RPK. And again, from Simple, that is a disaster for Hellraiser. They just completely lost control with no trade frags whatsoever. Three players down, and this is surely Titan's round. Yeah, I, I guess Hellraisers have like a decent amount of money to play with at the moment, so they really want to try to kill players on Titan's side because then they can create a situation where they can re money reset Titan in the following round if they then win that with their buy. So I think the objective now is, is to get at least like three kills. That would be something that's realistic. If you can find that, that would be excellent. There's number one, but it did come at the cost of Oscar. So Kucha needs a couple more. There's the second one. Down to 35 HP now. So looking for more kills here is Kucha. But in comes the flank and Sniss will take him down. Two frags is okay, but I, I know I think three, four was really, uh, really important in that spot because now we'll see all the expenditure from Hellraisers. It's going to cost them all of their remaining bank. 
So, it's been a war of attrition so far, one that Hellraisers have been winning. They will continue with a single AWP onto Oscar. Again, that Simple has a lot of value as a rifler as well. So, uh, Oscar can continue his good fortune with the AWP, or at least try to. There is an AWP onto Smiths as well, of course. See those pop flashes coming in off the uh, central pillar in the B-bomb site. But again, it's going to be a uh, slow push from Hellraisers with a decoy over towards Long as well. Long A, that is. And again, Titan not really pushing with this kind of timing. Oh, Oscar wrecked by Smiths there. He looked for information, information he found. Delivery straight to the face. Simple's in the uh, toilets area at the moment. Looking for a response for his team, but Smith is close. Oh, nice flick there onto Simple. He's out of the picture. And Smith's second follow-up. Angel takes down both players. Existence will fall as well as Kucha wraps in from long. The distraction caused by Angel was al allowed Kucha to take control of the bomb site. And now IPK will get flashed away from this position, allowing key seconds for Hellraisers to set up a good post-plant setup. And that's going to be that. Titan will abandon the campaign towards the A site and try to live to fight another day. I'm not sure if Mo will hear... S yeah, Mo's got the sound cues there. You can see him reacting. They're just looking through the wall. But uh, that's just to try and pinpoint using the sound where exactly they are. Very common thing in Counter-Strike. So if you ever see somebody uh, who's facing a position that looks a bit odd, but they're not trying to avoid a flashbang, they might be trying to use one ear rather than two to, to more accurately pinpoint movement of players on the other side of a structure on a map. So, Hellraiser's 6-2. to two. Now, over parts of the map where we often see 12-3 CT halves, so for Titan to be losing 2-6 to six at the moment, it's pretty dire. And they've gone for the fourth buy. You can see the uh, limitations there. Smiths with the Deagle, no armor. Scream with the full buy. RPK existence shocks. With bits and bobs. Jumble sale. What they ever, whatever they could find behind the back of Nan Sofa Dan. Yeah, it's pretty dire, actually. Since they're close, will he be the first to fall? Yeah, he will be. And he doesn't have anybody near him to try to refrag. His distance is alone on the A site. The rest of Titan on B as well, looking to see if they can get some something done in this round now. To be proactive, so just waiting around, allowing Hellraisers to casually just walk up and kill him. I think Smiths was the sacrificial goat, Dan. I think he was the information man. Went down on his sword. But the rotation didn't come in from Titan. Bomb's been planted on A. And now Titan are in another situation where RPK and Scream should be going for the save. But Hellraisers are going for the hunt. <laughs> nice frag by Scream. Um, yeah, Easy <clears throat> there's not much really going on for Titan at the moment. I mean, let's, uh, let's check their money real quick and see where they're at there. They can't be looking too good on the money. M money. Okay, let me see the money, please. There we go. And, okay, yeah, so money's pretty awful for them, and, and uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> what happened, James? It, everything exploded. Um, yeah, so the, the money looks uh, pretty terrible there for, for Titans. So they're, they're really in, in a lot of trouble here because um, how raises are looking like they're, they're going to get like a double-digit T-half. I mean, I mean, earlier they were against Envious on Cobble, and we're like, well, if they win, maybe they'll get five rounds in the match. And there's like, nope, they they like almost win the the T half of Cobble. So, or no, the CT half. If, no, they won. The, did they win the CT half of Cobble? It was like eight seven or something. They did like incredibly well, and uh, that was very unexpected. So, so yeah. Um, Hellraiser is looking quite good with their stand-ins. Simple's playing sort of Stikos on this time, so they only have one stand-in as well, and it's a very very good stand-in. Oscar's really good. Well, they still have two stand-ins, because Simple is a sub. Oh, yeah, but he's been playing lands with them and stuff, so... Yeah, he's no stranger. He was in the team for a yeah. time. Yeah. So, Titan on eco number, I don't know what. Unfortunately for them. Not looking to uh, get their third round on the board anytime soon. Ignitance picks up an AK. Done some nice damage there. Switching out to the pistol. Gets the one-tap as well. Wait a minute. He's got the AWP as well. Oh, he's just hold the wrong angle. Leaving shocks versus two. Is his location known? One's being picked up. The site's trying to be held down here by Oscar, but he's going to be dinked. He's on 11 HP. Shock to finish him off. Down to the one versus one now. But that P250 does not have many bullets. 
And he is unable to pick up a gun. Angel waiting. And he's going to send Shoxy into a 180, leave him face down on the floor. Existence, man. Existence. Trebian. Existence. Put in some nice work there, but again, it wasn't enough. Six round lead for Hellraisers on the T side. Post patch existence is like leveled up. He's been sick lately. I've seen him do a lot of awesome stuff. Yeah, he's been he's been in the trenches rather than the shadows. Good start from Smith's there. Early pick onto Simple. I'm sure that will grate the man on the Hellraisers side. He's gonna have to watch from the rafters now as this round continues here for Hellraisers. I'm curious what Angel can do because he's he's actually rotating out of the uh, the monster area. I was wondering if he was just going to do the walk, just walk in there and see if he can get an Angel, because that's that's uh, something that a lot of teams like to do. Like you know, you'll see Nico do that, Olaf Meister, you know, these kinds of these types of play players. Um, but he's going to actually back away, go to connector, which makes more sense. He can still go to sewers and try to play short if he wants, but that is kind of dire now. Smith gets another kill onto his Kucha. Leaving them in a position where they're five versus three, and that means Angel needs to rejoin the team and get something done, and they've got to play together. But they're getting systematically picked apart. It's just Mo and Oscar. Mo's going in with the Tech Nine. Just those Oscar left now, one versus three, and he's got himself 35 seconds left in this round to play with. And they have him surrounded. The bomb is down in Upper Park between two players. There is a crossfire being set up. Oscar's going to try to circumvent that with the smoke, and I. I think he might get crushed in there it is rpk comes in eight three titan pick up a round but uh once again you know we're, we're left thinking okay are they just gonna get reset again it has been the story so far well if that is the case at least they've got another round on the board although they're running out of opportunities here in the first half to get a reasonable score on the side which has not been achieved just yet so a for either side famas and uh two galils the galils of course on the t side Looks like they may be going for a fast pick and push here towards the B-bomb site, but will they get the engagement they seek? Angel got a position on short. Has not been smoked off yet, as Monster has. So we'll see what he can do with it. Smith rotating away from the B-bomb site, although for now his ult will not be so useful with that smoke down. Oh, they're going to walk through. Monster, in they go. Kucha leads the charge with Mo. They'll get the entry, but RPK responds with a great vengeance. Two frags from his perspective. Three versus three, then, is the situation. Shock splashed in. Oh, it goes straight in there. They didn't expect that. He's just going to get both kills there. And at least Angel spinning around. Nice frag there on to Smith as well. Angel's created a one-on-one -on -one out of nowhere. And Shox is there by the pillar trying to play the angles. Angel finds the engagement. Oh my goodness. Gets himself a headshot and wins the round for Hellraiser. Resetting Titan's economy. Oh my god. Damn. What a clutch. Angel, you are a beast. Titan has been reset like a Super Nintendo. And they're going to have to start again. They've got minimal money. Just the P250's coming out with the Deagle onto Scream. And Hellraiser's approaching double figures now. Lice on, on the nades are the T side, but it should not matter as there are no nades on Titan. Just pistols. Just honest. Honest fighting. Fist of cuffs down in this round. Yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting to see what they can pull off. Existence has been really powerful in these rounds for some reason. He's been getting a lot of damage. Yesterday, I remember him on train getting like three or four kills. I think it was him with like a P2000. I'm not sure. Anyway, nice kill there from Smith. Doesn't get anything else, does get uh, traded on. and But he will spot pretty much uh, most of the team. So Titan uh, know where they're coming from now, but they're getting thinned out. RPK existence and shocks to do what they can. We cannot expect much. Kucha though is within almost headshot range. All simple getting tagged. Caught in no man's land, but his teammates will save. So, Shox, can he isolate someone, try and steal a gun? Although Mo did die somewhere on the map, so it could be that he's trying to l locate the one weapon, which is around somewhere, or maybe he's in the party area looking for a full bottle of beer. I wonder if Moses was watching. I saw he tweeted earlier. He said uh, he's really excited for Titan and their future. I guess that's fine. Good for him, Dan. The present currently is not very exciting, James. They are getting wrecked by Hellraisers. Hellraisers with one or two stand-ins, whichever way you look at it. Uh, it's cool to see Kucha doing well. But uh, 
So far, you know, Simple has not really been able to be utilized as well, it would seem, in, in the way that uh, Harry's is playing, but it doesn't matter because they're still getting it done at the moment. And so we will see Titan going for a very passive setup. Three players on B at the start of the round just to really deal with any rush timings. So Titan pretty much just playing at the mercy of Harazers. Harazers will have very, very free map control. And unless Titan decide to push out now, they're not going to discover that most of the team is moving with the bomb towards the A-long area. And Harazers are giving full respect to Titan. They're playing it slow. And Angel, that's not the first time he's been caught there. No, it isn't. And last time he had more support. It was just him this time, but the flash was too real, went on for too long. And Titan, you can see, look at the, the inventory. They don't have the uh, inventory to work with here, so they're going for the aggression, but now it's starting to work out for them. Four versus two. The numbers of Harry's is being thinned, but the same thing is happening. T existence going down at the front of Vader. There are two more players to contend with. Scream coming in with a signature headshot, leaving Simple alone versus three. We know the output this man's capable of. Look at how fast that was after getting dinked by RPK. One versus two, bomb gets planted. Simple with the AWP versus Scream and Smiths. This is where Simple really can shine. That's the first player down in this one on three. Bomb is now planted. The smoke allows him some level of cover. And the CTs must guess. He might catch them going for the boost. Oh, I think he saw them. Oh no, misses the shot. How many opportunities will he get now? They are closing in on his position. Simple will be overwhelmed by the CTs. He had a chance. One shot, one opportunity. Mom Spaghetti. James. What? Spaghetti? Yeah, that's the reference. Another reference. One shot to one opportunity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's then what did you say? One spaghetti? I just, I, I, mum's, mum's spaghetti. Mum's it's, spaghetti? Yeah. What I, the I hell just, are you I talking just, about? Producer Reese understands. He's nodding. He understands. You're the other one out here, James. Producer Reese. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's from an Eminem song. From 8 Mile. 10 to 4 in favor of Hellraisers. Both teams have one player. Oh, never mind. Existence has picked up a late FAMAS. Smith misses a shot. Simple will shoot him in the face. Sweet revenge for the uh, angry man. Angel will fall. Left two versus two. Existence. Oh, is the angle going to be checked? No. Mo is running elephant feet, but is he going to be punished? Surely Existence is on the flank, although Existence will need to watch his own back as well. But at least he'll have the call made to his team that Mo is in that position. Surely. Simple is close as well. Oh, no. Who is going to find who first, Dan? Yeah, Existence will come in from the back. And from I don't the know if they'll actually expect this. Here he goes. Existence with the kill onto Mo. And they haven't even pushed into the site yet. So they can't refrag. There's no one there to refrag. Kucha tries. But he gets squeezed from two angles. And that's going to be that. It's one is once again. Simple. In with the clutch. This time he doesn't have the bomb. It's a very different, it's diff a very different situation for him. He's got 39 seconds on the clock. Crystal maze mode, Dan. Can he collect all the little silver glittery things? He's got three to find. Oh my god. You never know when it's simple. You just don't know what he's capable of. Well, you know what he's capable of. He's basically anything. That's you, what it's so You almost want the whole team to die. Yeah. Just to see how many kills he can get. Well, it's just that he's, he's really amazing in these spots. He's, he's pretty, he can be pretty clutch. But he's a human highlight reel, Dan, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe he's good from that that perspective. Like you want him on his on your team so that you like make all the Asia TV front page posts so you get more exposure for your team. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's the. Anyway, we get the uh, pistol. Very strong first half there for Hellraisers. 10-5 going into the CT half makes you feel quite comfortable, I imagine, in Hellraisers' position. They will spot the entire push coming in from Titan, and Angel is getting a lot of damage in, but no kills, no headshots, and he's still alive. Wow. Going for the reload there. Oh, Kucha tries to cover his back, but unable to get the frag. And advantage is uh, compounded for Hellraiser's only Smith remains in the CT area, and he's going to get shot straight in the dome there. Tentacles coming out to defuse the bomb down. Oscar and Kucha remaining. That was a nice smoke, though, from Titan. They basically smoked onto the site to stop the, the kind of water peak towards shorts. And then they push through, or try to at least. So they got the plant, which means that it'll get the buy in uh, now because they're going to force it up i like this I, I actually really wanted to see this because hellraisers are you know have they might not be able to get the best defenses ever because they don't know how to team play with each other maybe uh, optimally because they're not you know a super gelled team they are very skilled players but that said titan are going towards the a side of the map so we won't see a quick b execute at the very least yeah i i'm thinking they need scream to open up 
this. They've all got armor apart from Smith's again because he's saving for the orc. I'm, I imagine. But uh, if if he dropped an AK, if Scream can play, oh, okay. If Scream can play close, I mean, if if Scream can get an opening, excuse me, and there are players close to support him to um, play for trades if need be or pick up some weapons, as we we might see here, then who knows what can happen. Oh, most spot though. It's going to be traded by Scream and Scream after doing just Scream things. Another headshot, three headshots for Scream. He's opening up the round. Perfect play by Existence and the Titan team. That was beautiful. That's exactly why the AK went to him. Good choice. Good choice indeed, Mr. Existence. As uh, Scream is going to go down finally to Angel. And the retake is possible here. Angel's removed the AK from the equation. Although M4's have been picked up, Angel will be taken out by RPK. In comes Simple with the P90 and he will only get a single kill, but that is some damage. But, you know, even still, Hellraisers with that force are going to completely cripple Hellraisers. It's going to be a couple rounds before they can even think about buying anything. Again, in the way that existence would uh, exploit the the strong points of uh, Kenyas. My words lose me. He does the same with, exist with, with Scream on the force by takes the round. You know, they can't afford to allow Hellraiser to get any more rounds on the board, so great decision making there by the in-game leader for Titan. And I think Smith, who had no Kevlar, was the guy that ran in front as well to, to, to draw out the, f the fire of the first player to give, a, give the position to Scream to know where, the, where to shoot as well. So. so good. All good in the hood. So that was well, well planned, that round. I like it. Simple with Deagle and full armor. He has a helmet, as does Oscar with the 5.7. But uh, as uh, unlike other CT holds and force buys. We're going to have Hellraisers quite spread out, including a flank here from Oscar. And they're going to, that's going to mean a, a, a three man rotation onto the A site for Hellraisers. Looking down towards long, simple going to the uh, off angle that Mo was playing. He's got a smoke coming to his advantage, but he's going to get pre fired with a P90. This is not going incredibly well here for Hellraisers. Oscar's picked himself up that AK, and in he goes. We've seen him do some awesome things so far. Nice snap onto RPK. Can't get the follow-up, though. Smith will return immediately and end the hopes in that round for Hellraisers to take it. 11-7 is the score. Is Titan clamber their way back to an equalizer, but it's still kind of far away. They need four more to remove the deficit that Hellraisers have looming over Titan. Now, we have... Uh, Another save round for Hellraisers. As indicated previously, Titan managed to, after win losing the first round, by winning the second round, completely screw the economy of Hellraisers. And that's what they're suffering. So this is really nice for Titan. And they're going to a go a long as well. It's a nice anti-eco uh, approach because you're, you have your backs all against one wall, essentially. You can trade very well. There's very long ranges. If they kill one of you, you have such easy time trading. It's perfect. We already have a super fast flank. We've seen this before, but uh, Oscar was maybe a little bit too late last time. Shock's going to take down Angel. Bit delayed just in case there's anyone behind him, but there won't be. So we've got the CTs on the site and the T's are pushing as well. But the frags are going the way of the T's now. Only Simple remains with that flank. And uh, there is a lurker. I think it's Shock's near the top of Connector. I don't think he'll hear Simple, who is running all along the wall there as far away from the toilets as possible. Indeed, you can see Shock searching. So he hasn't heard the sound cues. Bit of tagging going on, and Simple's going to be trying to take a different approach. But again, just a lowly P250, no armor. That's going to be that. The gap has been closed to three as the buy comes out. Double orbs from Hellraisers on the uh, CT side as well. Yeah, it's quite cool to see it out on Oscar and Mo. But Oscar seemed incredibly good with it, just as Mo is as well. And Simple is such a good rifle player that it just really doesn't matter what he's playing with to be honest. And it's quite cool to see that Simple opts for the M4A1S as well, uh, post post update. And it goes to peak from Mo. Nice nade. Oh, no, actually, no. That nade didn't connect at all. I think I guess uh, it was below the lip of the stairs, which completely shielded Mo. And uh, that's unfortunate. It was a smoke. Oh, it was a smoke? Yeah. OK. Then that also, uh, smokes don't do damage. So no. that was explain the situation. Oh my god. Nice angle there from Angel. You need to steal that one, guys. You must steal that. That is a dirty. Dirtier than my laundry deck. You should you should probably clean your laundry then. Well, my laundry will be cleaned. And then Dan, it will no longer be laundry. It will just be clothes. Three men remaining for Titan. The last few rounds have been good for them, but uh, they are running out of personnel to take this one. Wow. Bit of revenge, warbanging going on there. 
but Simple has come in with two frags from somewhere, leaving Existence alone with only one frag to the name of the entire team. Potential for a second one there, but Simple says no, and he's going to go for the AK as well, which is going to make things ultimately worse. Simple with an AK yeah. is nasty, like the last chicken in the shop, that. Yeah, he was amazing um, at, uh, in, at DreamHacks.com when he was playing with the AK from the... Uh, uh, you know, defensively, on the, as a, uh, from the A bomb site near the, the barrels, near the pillar, he was really good at that. And he also did some amazing things near Monster too. And it looks like Titan are going towards those positions. So, uh, simple. Is he going to go for the off angle? That's very committed, which is uh, the left, the leftmost of where his position currently is. He's going to get some packs there in this mode. Oh, what? How on earth did he find that kill? I guess a couple of shots must have landed on the torso of shocks because it wasn't even a headshot. But he gets the kill there. Gave him the garden hose, Dan. And Shox couldn't take the water. Gone. Oh, he goes straight through. Oh, Smith goes down from the back. And he gets out of there scot-free. That is daylight robbery, if I've ever seen it. And Hellraiser's, uh, thanks to Simple's remarkable play at the start of the round, are down to three players. Uh, Titan, sorry. Simple just continues to wipe out the team. What is going on? One by one. Just simple things. So what is much, going on? So much talent, Dan. He it's is in the mines. It's Inception. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see when Temple beca becomes much more compatible with teams. It's going to be an amazing, a really amazing uh, player one day. Like, more rounded, I suppose, is the best way to put it. So almost finishing off screen there, but it looks like there's a chance here for Titan, although they're very low on HP. And Existence is uh, there to support as well. Been going in now, looking for those headshots. Oh, that is Existence down, and Oscar will shut out Scream as well. But yeah, I'm not trying to say that Simple's not a good player. Of course, he's an amazing player, but, but he's not so team compatible right now. That's been the major issue for him. Thank you for the clarification, Dan. Yeah, he, and he does some crazy stuff, which is does decision-making-wise is kind of terrible, but he's really good at shooting people. Just stop. I don't know, Jess. So we have it again. Oh, with Shocks on the AK this time as opposed to Scream on the force buy, so a little bit of a different approach, but will it have the same, will it yield the same results, Dan? That is the phrase. Will it yield the results, the required results, the desired results? Well, Shox is also pretty good at the game, and the uh, smoke for balcony will go off, and they'll go for the push now onto the site, but they have to deal with this man, simple once again, and uh, Angel as well is just positioned by water. The MP9 is going to be fantastic here. Shox goes in with the AK finally, but most of his team is dead at this point. He will take down Simple. But again, that MP9 spraying through, and it will find excellent damage there onto Existence. He's down to 21. The nade will finish him off, firing the hole. 14-8 now as Hellraisers look to close Titan down. And Titan don't have any money. They have no dollar in the bank. They've got to go for the force. The deficit is too large. Got to get that QE down. They've got to spend that cash. A deficit. It's like the British economy. We have a lot of deficit, James. Indeed, Dan. Indeed. It's going to be a five-man push towards the B-bomb site. They want that, that close quarters engagement with these Tech Nines. Are they going to get it? Angel caught out of position. Didn't have his gun ready. And those are two fast frags in favor of Titan. They're not out of this yet, Dan. Two orb retake. One of them's just gone down and been picked up by existence. He is uh, very proficient, as we already know. Although there are multiple angles for him to hold. Not sure if he sort of played through the smoke there. So, Oscar and Kucha to try and do what they can. Nade's coming in. Not going to finish off existence. He will take down Kucha, leave Oscar alone, and he will go as well. Titan, stay in it for now and take two orbs into the next round. Yeah, it seemed like Hellraisers were kind of caught really out of position there on the side, like they were kind of thinking, ah, oh, you know, it's probably going to be a slow round this time. We can just jump around a little bit, try and play for some info. Oh, they are, they're in the bomb site, and we're dead. So it's, it's kind of like, they really got caught with their, their trousers around their ankles in that one. Um, so 14-9, Titan with a double AWP setup, Smith and Shox. And Oscar is the only AWPer for the team of Hellraisers at the moment. And they will see a player jumping across to that committed spot. Now Shox knows if he just holds the angle. Like, sp simple to get out of this position, needs somebody to flash for him. Or he has to flash for himself, or he has to smoke it. Something has to happen here. Or he can try to bait out the shot, but then he risks getting killed by or, Shox. Or he can just stand there. He can wait there, but the thing is that they can nade him. They know that he's there, and that is that's kind of painful. He could be close, though. He could be far as well. The problem is they can't push while he's there. So it works both ways. Oh, is he going to go through? A 
it, oh, I'm not sure if he's going to go through just yet, but we've. Uh, he is, oh, he's teasing it down. He's going through. He's going through. He's pushing. And there it is. The Shocks has been taken down. Four versus three. One of the two walks remain now onto Smiths. So these AKs need to get work done. That's beautiful because, you know, Titan just picked, scored a kill with Smiths on the other side of the map and they started to actually shift their setup and he, he just caught them at the perfect timing and that's going to really help out because that's a four versus three oh, now. We're Hellraisers. in the Matrix. Hellraisers uh, have a really, really good uh, situation right now. They don't know exactly what's happening. RPK is getting up close. He's going to pop Angel, but his flank is completely open. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there it is. Simple just waiting in the barrels to see if there's any more players before killing him. And that's it now. Mo, Mo and Kucha left after Smith takes down Simple. Smith with the angle. Quickly switch, he gets the tag. Oh, the Mo coming back in. The Mo show right at the end there. Two frags to close it down. 15 to 9 is now the score as we have Hellraisers on match points. And it does look pretty good as the money is very stretched for Titan. So long as they don't get rushed down like they did to lose their last round, then they, they'll be fine, I think. So Smith has bought an AK. Is he going to throw it to Scream or is he going to rock the AK with no armor? Because he's going to have aim punch and it would make a lot more sense to give the gun to Scream, in my opinion. But he's going to run with it with no armor, for now. RPK gets taken down by Oscar and things are not looking good here for Titan. So Shox is in the short area with an AK. Scream going into the... Uh, Connector picks up some flashbangs while Smith loses the AK and gets aim punched, unsurprisingly. So I think that was a poor, cho poor decision between those two. Three remain, and Simple, of course, is standing in front of a smoke with a Mag 7. Yeah, I mean, we know Simple wants to go in. Like, he just. He's got quite. Like, his game sense is really good, actually, when it comes to spots like this. We've already seen him. He's, he's, he's like two for two in that, in that kind of a spot in this uh, match, or maybe three for three. I'm not sure how many times he's done that now. I think he's two for two, and no. not a knife. Oh, he's no. looking away. Oh, no. The timing. Talking about game sense. The knife would have been hilarious, but it's just existence, and he's dead. 16 to 9, Hellraisers take it. Titan could not get their economy going in the first half, and it was a crushing uh, score when you're on a T side there for Hellraisers. Very good for them. And again, Titan just shut down. But you have to uh, note the individual play by Simple there just destroyed a number of rounds. Yeah, he just walked in there, killed like four players and some rounds is crazy uh, how good he is just when he's able to get the freedom like that. I guess uh, it was a really good game from Kucha as well. Kucha was hitting a lot of his shots. You know, Angel was hitting the right kinds of entries. It was, it was definitely a uh, definitely a team effort there from Hellraisers and having two kind of standards, it must be really awkward for Kucha to try to like call this team at the moment because you know you don't necessarily, because you, you have to factor in, okay, Simple is going to take a lot of freedoms and he's going to do stuff that's crazy and it's not on the script mm. that he does that. You, you, can watch, you can watch him play and that often happens. And uh, this is why it can also be hard to play with him sometimes. And uh, you know you want to be able to try to control most variables. And then you've got the problem is that you can't really run a lot of set strats because who throws which smokes and flashes. And the same goes for the CT side as well as the T sides because you've got lots of players coming in and coming out. So it's quite a hard situation to manage for Kutra, I imagine. It could be quite frustrating for him and Angel in particular. Um, so yeah, impre really impressed with them today. Minus um, minus Adren and the stand-ins did a really good job. Styko and uh, and and of course Oscar, Sim uh, Oscar as well. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm quite excited to see more of Oscar actually. Like you know, like will a big team pick him up because he's obviously really good. Time will tell. So that takes our broadcast for this week to an end. North America will start next week, so look out for that as well. Again, we did pass 650k followers. The next uh, goal is 675k, where we, we will be giving away two Felch and Knives. So we'll be back next week. Have a good weekend, and we will see you in a few days.